All right, guys. Uh, welcome to our live stream. Let me know if you guys can hear me and see me well. First of all, put something on the chat box. Let me know if you guys can uh, hear me and see me well. All right, let me know if you guys can uh, hear me and see me well. All right, with that, let's get started, guys. Uh, sorry for the black screen there. I clicked on something. With that, let's get started. So hopefully, you know, I, I just did a video. I just did a video uh earlier in the day this morning actually you know pretty upset with the with the misinformation hopefully you guys saw that that's been going on out there because i got some people man they leave me some reviews but you're still covering sixth edition it drives me crazy so hopefully do me a favor guys if you have not watched that video i just did a few few hours ago and uh share that video all right Share that video with folks that are taking the exam. If you're in a study group or anything like that, share it so people have the right information because there is a lot of misinformation, you know, a lot of information that people have wrong about this particular exam. Anyhow, let's get started. All right, so welcome to our stream tonight. Tonight is giveaway night. It's the first Tuesday of the month. That means that we're going to be giving you guys some free courses once we hit 100 likes. So I need you guys to click on the like button. Uh, click on the like button. And uh, once we get up to a certain number of likes, I will give you guys a free giveaway. In tonight's stream, guys, I'm going to be answering your questions. If you guys have any questions, CAPM question, PMP questions, uh, put it in the chat box. I'll get around to answering it. I got to update this. We're going to be doing CAPM slash PMP because I do both courses. And I know there's a lot of CAPM is very, very similar to the PMP, especially now with both of them covering Agile. Except CAPM has one more topic. But, uh, you know, but, you know, it, it there's a lot of students that takes in both. So you guys, if you have any CAPM, PMP, ACP question, put it in the chat box. I'm going to answer that. And I also have a couple of practice questions I'm going to answer with you guys for PMP. Also, you can use them for CAPM. So if you're doing CAPM, stick around for that. Let's get started, shall we? All right. Here we go. All right. Here we go. The first question in the front night. It says here, hello, Andrew, I cleared my PMP with three above targets. Absolutely. Congratulations on that. Your Udemy course, TIA Simulator. Oops. Uh, TIA Simulator was my uh, key source. All right. Very good. And your word of confidence. Thanks a ton. And I was wearing blue. Uh, tag blue, bleed blue. You are a rock star. Cheers. Okay. Thank you so much for that. Thank you for letting us know, keeping us on point, keeping us motivated. Now, did you celebrate well? All right. Did you did, did you get a piece of cake? How about a big piece of carrot cake? You know, a few weeks ago, I did a video on how to celebrate. Hopefully, you watched that. Celebrate well. Absolutely. Congratulations on that. Uh, guys, you want to pass like uh, this person did? Make sure you get the simulator, get the course. You know, it's all on Udemy. You can get the simulator at tiaexams.com. That website, by the way, was down today. So it was doing, they were updating it on the back end to make it a lot quicker. So if it was down for you, you can go and check it out now. It's absolutely up and running the last I checked. Congratulations on that once again. Thank you. Letting us know. Keeping us motivated. Hey, Andrew, I'm from India. All right. Very good. Uh, pass with three above targets. Your face looked familiar. Maybe you were here before. Pass the three above target. Thanks to your course and simulator. Thank you so much. Celebrated with beer and carrot cake. Now that's where you celebrate. Just like Ram did. All right. Beer, carrot cake. Use the course. Use the simulator. Got three above targets. Perfect score. War blue, of course. The secret. We all know the secret. I should have changed my background to blue, but that's a default color. I think it came on with. 
Now, how to get that 75? All right, there's a hundred of you guys. If you guys all click the like button, we can do a giveaway right now. Please click on the like button, guys. Um, how do you get the, the PDUs? Not 75, you need 60 PDUs. There's a variety of ways, just take different courses. That's the easiest way to get courses, to get them. Uh, if you follow me on LinkedIn, I'm not sure if you guys saw that post. I did a post where I, I gave you guys a bunch of courses. Every month, um, Udemy allows to give away, not to give away, but to make the course super cheap. It's like it's like the price of a, of a coffee, like the price of a Starbucks, one of those, ex, you know, one of those espresso shakes from Starbucks or something. It's like nine bucks, nine, ten dollars for, for these PDU courses. You know, a lot of companies are charging hundreds or thousands of dollars for PDU courses. They're insane. Don't do that. I got some great PDU courses you guys can use to get 60 PDUs. Check my LinkedIn post on that. I'm ready to go check that out. But that's how you get them. Take classes. Remember, Ram, the objective is to continuously learn, is to continuously get better. The better you get, the more money you make. That's the idea behind this, right? Knowledge. You know, people, people don't buy my courses because I'm amazingly good looking. They don't buy my book because the cover is beautiful. All right? People buy it because I have knowledge that I give you guys, right? Knowledge that I simplify for you guys. And if you want people to pay you, if you want people to actually hire you and give you a, be a better salary so you could move up in this world, you got to gain knowledge, man. All right? You got to, it's what's in here that counts. So increase what's in here, Ram. So go out, gain some knowledge. All right. By the way, absolutely. Congratulations, Ram. Thank you once again. Celebrate well. Oh, you did celebrate. Baron King. That's right. Uh, hello, Andrew. My application was approved for the PMI ACP. Okay, good. Um, do Is the ACP mock exam in a course enough? Yeah, I think that's all you need. You really just keep the, A, you know, keep the mindset in mind as you go through that course, as you go through it, you know, get, keep the ACP mindset and I think you're going to be just fine. I really haven't met anybody that failed that test in years. I don't think you need any simulators for it. And you've taken your 35. I've taken your 35. Okay. So I can maintain my survey. What is the breakdown? There is. So Becky, go to the end of the course. Um, in the end of the course, there is instructions at the end of the course, like we're how to get your certificate, it tells you what the breakdown is. Hey, Andrew, uh, will your simulator, the simulator is done. It'll be out either tomorrow or Thursday. Promise, it's done. The simulator for the CAPM simulator is finished. Okay, it finished since last week, but the web designer has not put it. It's going to be on TIAexams.com, but it is done. It's 350 questions with video. It's 350 questions with video explanations. The closest thing you're going to get to the real test. Remember, I took the real CAPM exam. From what I remember, is how I made the question. All right. It's not going to be word for word as a real test because no one could memorize all that stuff, but it's going to be pretty close. If you can do my simulator for the CAPM, you will pass the CAPM. So the CAPM simulator should be out really soon, maybe in a day or two from now, uh, and it's going to be at TIAexams.com. Check that out, maybe tomorrow or the following day. You can get the simulator there, start practicing. Once you finish the course, you can start practicing. You can also buy the course there also. You can buy a simulator bundle and course, really cheap, uh, and you get six-month access with the bundle on that. Gail C. from Maryland. Hey, Andrew, I passed my PMP certification in April. Congratulations. Did you celebrate well? And now studying for the adjunct. Yeah, I have the course on the ACP. If you're doing ACP, uh, you know, check that. I do have a course on this. Absolutely, congratulations. And that's the right thing to do. Keep moving. Keep getting certifications. You guys know I have 66. Used to be 65. 66 certifications now. Andrew, any updates, changes on the agile? Nope. From what I know, Miguel, the moment you finish your ACP and your CAPM, you're going to get the results right away. And I'm looking for guidance as to which app. Is, you don't need an app. I purchased 
uh, your simulator. Just use my simulator, man. My simulator works well on the phone. They just updated that site today. It's super fast. Um, get it. Works on the phone. You'll be fine. You don't need anything else to pass. You see all these people passing here in the cold with, 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 with the simulator? Andrew, how user-friendly is scratch paper for you? You don't need it. If you're doing... If you're doing PMP, I'm not sure which exam you're doing. If you're doing PMP, you don't need paper because there's no real formulas. And if there is, it's probably one or two, and they give you like a whiteboard. They don't give you scratch paper anymore. And if you take it in an exam center, you don't get paper. You get like a dry erase board and markers, these little ones. No, but you don't need to write down formulas anymore. Don't worry writing down processes anymore. I used to recommend that a long time ago, but you don't need to do that. There's 126 of you guys. If you guys all click on the like button, wait a minute, if you clicked on it already, don't click on it again. Um, we can do that giveaway. Come on, guys, you guys can click on that like button one more time. All right, you guys got me. All right. Uh, hey, Andrew, can brief on outcome... I don't know what that means. Can brief on outcome recent... Yeah, so if you take the test now, the PMP, you got to wait to get your results. You got to wait supposedly five days, but some people are getting it in, in a day or two. So... <clears throat> Seems to be all over the place. Liked and shared the video. Thank you, Heather, for that. Yeah, these people, they, you know, they got to pass on the true information. And you're currently start using your Udemy course. Love the content so far. Oh, thank you, Jeffrey. Thank you for that. I appreciate your rant. Yeah, I was pretty pissed off this morning. The reason why I did the rant was because uh, I had a... You know, the reason behind that video was because somebody sent a, a message to my LinkedIn that I am ripping people off by teaching them outdated information and selling them as current information. That video was actually made for that person and then sent to that person. Uh, maybe you're watching that right now. You deserve that video. So that's the reason why that video is like that. That's why that video just, I was just so pissed off with that. Like, really? You see all these people passing, all these folks praising the material, giving good reviews, and you're going to come and accuse me of BS? Yeah. I'm a nice guy. Just don't get on the wrong side. Okay, thank you, Kay. Uh, Gabriella, hey, Andrew, I got my PMP two weeks ago. Congratulations. Thank you for your content and for the live sessions. They helped me to be focused and kept learning. Thank you for everything you do. No, thank you for coming back, letting us know, keeping us motivated. Congratulations on passing your PMP. Welcome to the world of being a certified project manager. Hopefully, for all of you guys that pass, hopefully it you know opens up many, many doors for you. So absolutely, congratulations on that. Did you celebrate well? Did you get a piece of cake? How about a couple of beers? Holly says, hey, if you're taking an exam on Friday, I have my blue shirt. See, now I know you're going to pass. I uh, picked out, and I'll let, I'll let you know what cake I'll be celebrating with. There's only one cake to celebrate with. All right, watch the video. Watch the short. I did my last short, YouTube short. Carrot cake, and I showed you the ones you got to get. Uh, if not, chocolate cake is good, too. All right, so chocolate cake and or, maybe an and there, not an or. A couple of beers. You got this. Or get some cherry vanilla Coke. See in the video, I had that, too. Can I thank you enough for your content? Mindset. Mindset is the key here, man. That's, that's, that's what it is. Mindset is the key. Mindset is everything. That's right. Thank you, thank you. You guys got to click on the like button. We got 10 more likes to go. Come on, guys. Hey, Andrew, passed the PMP last Wednesday. Congratulations. Wore my lucky blue shirt. All blue shirts are lucky. And had plenty of Oktoberfest beers. I love Oktoberfest beers. Get some Sam Adams Oktoberfest. It's good stuff. And a quarter of a carrot cake. Wow. Sterling. Oktoberfest beers are really like Hearty, hearty. Is that how you say that? Uh, you know, <laughs> full of calories, sugar. 
And you had a quarter of a cake. Oh my God! Hopefully, you didn't get you know you didn't get a sugar rush. That's a lot of sugar there, but I approve. That's good sugar. That's good celebration. That's how you celebrate well. Now Sterling guys know how to celebrate. Oktoberfest beers and a, not a not a slice of a cake, a quarter of a cake. Now you know Sterling worked really hard. Congratulations, Sterling. Passing, keeping us motivated for all of you guys that haven't taken your exam yet. We got 140 of you guys. For all 140 of you guys, some of you haven't taken your exam yet. Hopefully, you guys can do what Sterling did. Eat a big, big, like quarter of a cake. <laughs> quarter of a cake. And all those Oktoberfest beers. I always remember that. Keep that as motivation, Sterling. Thank you for keeping us motivated. That's the idea. Hey, Andrew, I'm writing my exam in person tomorrow. I have been scoring. You got this. All right? Remember the mindset. Get a good night's sleep. Keep the mindset in mind. You're going to be all right. Andrew, I know we do not have formulas for BAC, but does management reserve? Management reserve is not part of the BAC. All right? Man, the BAC is really uh, is really the, the the cost baseline. All right, so no, it's not. All right, all right. Hey, Andrew, I passed my PMP September twenty first. Congratulations to above target one target. Your mindset and simulator was key. I was wearing blue jeans and a dark blue shirt. Once again, everybody knows you want to pass. You wear blue. Congratulations on this. You guys see this? You guys see the trend here? You want to pass your exam, wear blue, get the simulator, get the course. You guys are going to ace your exam. Ultra congratulations to that. All right. Now, the question is, did you celebrate well? Did you get a piece of cake? How about a couple of beers? You did not put out you celebrate. Hopefully, hopefully you did. Pass the PMP thanks to the simulator. Congratulations, that well deserved chocolate cake and beer on hand. Like right now, are you drinking beer right now? Chris, are you drinking beer right now and having a piece of cake right now? Because if that's the case, I'm jealous. Like, super jealous of you because I want a piece of cake and I ain't got no beer. I got a bottle of water over here, man. Do you have a material for ACP like this? No, and I, I never made one. For ACP, I really should. A lot of people have been asking me lately. The thing is, I'm scared they're always going to change the ACP exam because I'm changing it so long. Uh, just do the uh, Chris get the TI get my uh, PM, PMI ACP Udemy course, and I think you're going to be fine. All right, just get the ACP Udemy course, and you're going to be fine. Everybody seems to use that. They're good with it. Congratulations, Chris, on passing your exam. Guys, just listen to Andrew and follow his material and you would pass. The mindset is the key. Thank you. Thank you for that. Hello, Andrew. I took the ACE, the CAPM three years ago and I'm studying for PMP. I have issues with answering questions with the Agile Minds. Any advice? I got it. You got to be more specific. I don't know. I don't know what type of advice I can give you. You got to be more specific. You got to know the Agile Mindset. The, um, if you have my course, in the Mindset section, there is... The mindset is broken into two sections, traditional and agile. So when, you, when you're when uh, you going through the course, look at the, look at the, you know, look at agile mindset in particular. Remember the agile values, okay? Hey, Andrew, pass Peter, pass the PMP and ACP at, at three above target in May and June 2020. Thanks to you. Uh, need PDU support ACP. All right. Peter, absolute congratulations. And Peter, we hit 100, so we're going to do a giveaway right now. Guys, let's do a giveaway for all of you guys that are here. I'm going to be giving you guys two courses. The Pemba Guide 7th Edition course and the... Uh, damn it, I forgot. And the... See, I think I'm getting... I think I have some problems in my memory, guys. Yeah. What have we got here? The PM, the Pemba Guide 7th Edition... And also, we have the right Microsoft Project course. Combined, if you finish these two courses in Udemy, you can gain 24 PDUs. 24 PDUs, okay? So here's the first one. Here's the link to that one. Let me know if that works. That's the Microsoft Project course. It's a Pemba Guide 7th edition. I just put the link in the box. I just put the link in the box 
click on the link. Let me know if it works. Click on the link. Let me know if it works. All right, guys, put, put it in the box. Let's see if this works. All right, it did work. All right, very good. Okay, good. Guys, those coupons, listen, those coupons are not valid forever. If you're watching this a little bit later, they, they're they only for a certain amount of usage. They expire relatively quick. So enroll in them very fast. If not, you're going to lose them. So, all right, to get these, you have to be on the live stream. I'm telling you guys, those things, they do not last very long. Udemy used to give us the ability to have uh back you know many many years ago udemy used to allow us to have uh you know these coupons were valid for a long time but not anymore they don't allow that anymore they don't want a lot of like giveaways of free courses and you could have made any course free on udemy now they're limited to a certain amount of hours so get them while they're hot guys get them while they're hot because if they're gone they're gone All right, moving on, guys. Moving on. So, Peter, congratulations, Peter. I just gave you those PDUs. Hopefully, you got them. And super congratulations. Did you did you celebrate yet? Maybe you're still celebrating. An hour and a half, a year and a half later. Hopefully, you are. I passed my PMP. Thank you, Andrew. The mindset is really key. And to everyone who's to write them, trust the simulator is key. Hassan, thank you for that. Thank you for letting people know. Get the simulator, pass the exam. What you guys got to do is you guys got to be like Hassan here, putting on the dead, putting in the, the 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 effort needed to study like he did. So absolutely, congratulations to that. Did you celebrate well? Did you get a piece of cake? How about a couple of bits? You guys got to put that when you... You guys always forget to write how you celebrate it. Congratulations on that. All right, congratulations on that. Did you... uh? Oh, I asked that a question. Did you celebrate well? Yes. <laughs> I didn't sleep much last night. Maybe I can't remember. Sunflower says, Hey, I just signed up for next week's PMP training course, live instructor. So I sign up to take the exam next weekend, or is that too soon? If you have your application approved, I would say wait in the middle of the week and then gauge yourself. And if you feel that you're okay, yeah, keep it for next Saturday. If not, don't rush it, all right? I tell people, you know, wait a week, seven days after the class ends, a week to two, and then take it, all right? But don't rush it. Know what, realize what you know. Now, if you sign up for our, um, if you signed up for our PMP live class, we gave you, we should, they should have given you access to my e-learning course. Go review the mindset, go watch all the videos before the class starts. Kevin says, hey, Andrew, I took you a demo course in the simulator. I test on I took I take the test on Thursday. Wish me luck. I'll be wearing blue. I wish you the best of luck. Calvin, come back next week. Let me know how you did. And I'm pretty sure you're gonna tell me how you aced the exam. Lillian, hey Andrew, I passed my PMP two above target, I must say. It was not an easy. No, it's not. Uh exams to take, but the mindset on the Udemy course simulator really did help me. I wore blue. That is the key once again to pass in. Um wearing that full full blue and you're going to ace it uh i wore a blue shirt and aced it absolutely congratulations and yes you did lillian congratulations now lillian you know what i'm going to ask you did you celebrate well did you get a piece of cake how about a couple of beers maybe some coke or something lillian if you did not celebrate you have my permission you can go celebrate right now or maybe tomorrow maybe this weekend congratulations lillian 
letting us know, keeping us motivated. Frank says, I've completed the first press through the book and videos, working on building a thorough understanding process, etc. Is reading the pen by guy tick? No, it's not necessary. I read it for you. There is no need to read any of the PMI guides. There is no need to read the PMI. Yeah. The Agile Practice Guide, Process Group Practice Guide, Pemba Guide, 7th edition or 6th edition. No, I read it for you. All right? Keep going through. Take your exam soon. Joey says, Hey, Andrew, I passed my PMP three above targets two weeks ago. Congratulations, Joey. Uh, thank you. Celebrate with chocolate cake and beer. I like that. Chocolate cake and beer. Hopefully, it was amazing. Yeah, if you, here's a secret for those of you guys that don't know. If you're drinking, if you're eating chocolate cake, pair it with a nice dark beer. If you're eating a light carrot cake, get a light beer. If you're eating dark, like a really rich carrot cake like I eat, get a dark beer. That's Andrew's recommendation for cake and beer. So absolute congratulations, Joey. Welcome to the world of PMP. You did celebrate well. Thank you, Joey, keeping us motivated. Hey, Andrew, War Blue, three above target, no wonder. The moment I saw or blood, no, you got three. But thank you for the Udemy videos. They are so uh, in, in gro engrossing. Bite size, perfect for Lauren. Thank you. Hopefully, you guys learned a lot. I did put a lot of effort into making that course. Hopefully, you guys find it useful. Congratulations. Now, did you celebrate well? Did you get a piece of cake? I hope so. How about a couple of beers? Hey, Andrew, passed my PMP on the first attempt with three above target. Congratulations. Took two months to study. How about average? Celebrated well with family. You know, I keep forgetting to mention, if you're going to celebrate, celebrate with the people that gave you the ability to study, give you the motivation to study. The mindset is everything I was excited to update. Um, the mindset is everything. And I was excited to update my LinkedIn, my job, and join the world of PMP. Welcome to the club of being certified we are honored to have you as part of our club. So welcome to the world. Congratulations on that. Uh, but did you celebrate well? Oh, you did. Celebrate well with family. But how did you celebrate? Did you get some cake? Make sure to get some cake. If not, you have my permission. Go out and get some more cake. Andrew, when is the CAPM simulator? Oh, yeah, we just answered this one. The CAPM simulator will be... It's all. It's done. It's ready. All right. In fact, it, I don't even know if it's, it might even be on the website right now. I don't know if it is. It might be. I don't know. Uh, no, the menu option is not there. The page is there. The page is there, but the menu option is not there. Um, okay. Tomorrow, check TIAexams.com. I already did a video for it. So, TIAexams.com is where it will be hosted. Uh, and then you can get it from there. It's going to be 350 questions. It's going to be four 50-question exams and then one full-length mock exam uh, at 170, 150 questions. So And video explanation. Three, I recorded 350 videos. <laughs> okay, 350 videos I recorded for that thing. All right, next, I'm finished with the PMP exam prep book and videos. Should I start simulator? Yes, you should. First, submit your application. Second round exam simulator, and I scored 83. I think you're ready, Eric. You got this. Go take your exam as soon as possible. He Andrew passed the PMP two weeks ago, three above target. Congratulations in all domains. Congratulations. Thanks to the simulator, Udemy course, the simplified book, and the mindset. Guys, the mindset is the key. That's right. If you know the mindset, you're going to ace your exam. Absolutely. Congratulations. Now, did you celebrate well? Did you get a piece of cake? Maybe you went out with some friends and family. Maybe you got a, maybe you had uh, some carrot cake. Maybe a couple of beers. Maybe if no beers, and got at least a cherry vanilla coke. Congratulations on that. Welcome to the world of PMP, uh, guys. You guys see all these people passing. If you haven't taken your PMP yet, look at all these people passing. You can do the same. All right. You put in the work and effort. Nobody here was born knowing PMP. I know right now you're probably sitting thinking, I can't get through this. It's too much. It's too much time and effort. It's too difficult. But trust me, people like this person here and all the other people that passed, they were in the same boat. All right? Just like you. 
I was in that same boat many years ago. And I took the PMP like 15, 20 years ago. <laughs> and I didn't thought I was going to pass. But, you know, you got to do it. Put in time and effort. You can do it. Took my PMP to test center today. Wish I had my results to share. But I think it went well. Thanks to your course material. You got this. All right. Give it time. Unfortunately, we got to wait. Come back next week. Let us know. Did you guys click on that like button? Let's get those likes to the giveaway. I already did that. Uh, we're in blue is a secret recipe. People don't, people don't understand that. Love to see the whole community <laughs> follow it. It's a fun tradition. Yes, it is, right? We've got to build that uh, project management community. Ever since purchasing the course, I've been spreading the word to anyone that will listen. Thank you. I appreciate you and your wisdom so much. Took the exam last week and passed. Congratulations. Did you celebrate well? Did you get a piece of cake? Absolutely. Congratulations. I am super happy we're able to help you pass your test. If you have not celebrated, because you didn't, you didn't put anything, um, you can go celebrate now. <laughs> All right. Congratulations. You took it last week. Celebrate this week. Celebrate for a couple of weeks. That's what you should be doing. Congratulations on that, Nicole. No problem. Uh, no comments. Uh, anyone here thinking, like me, before the exam, will I be able to clear it? Uh, anyone here thinking, like me, before, will I be able to clear it? Give you, give you my confidence. You demonstrated the simulator my first attempt. You know what? Absolutely thank you for that because there's a lot of people right now. Holy crap, I scrolled down. Good God. It's a lot of stuff. Uh, there's a lot of people right now that don't have the confidence. They don't feel good. Are they going to do it? And you know, he's telling you, look, you know, do the course, do the simulator, get above 75, and you're going you're gonna to be okay on the test. And that's really what it comes down to, right? Do the course, do the simulator, and, and you're going to be okay. But you just got to have confidence in yourself. All right, don't think that, you know, everybody have a ton of confidence and everybody can do this easily. It's not the way it works. Not all of us have a ton of confidence to go out and get it done. So that's why we got to, you know, guys, we got to put it inside of us to get it over with. What's the beer of the month, the week for you, Andrew? Uh, I, I, some, uh, Sam Adam, Oktoberfest. That's what I was drinking. Sam Adam Oktoberfest. I'm a big fan of Sam Adams. Okay, it's, it's one of the... I go to the, the brewery in Boston. Like, I drive to Boston uh, quite a lot. Like, I drive from Long Island, New York, to Boston, Massachusetts. For those of you that don't know, let's just say it's about four and a half hours to buy beer and then drive back. So... Buying beer is like an all-day event. Like I have to drive like 500 miles for beer. Yeah, I do that. That's how crazy I am. Uh, hey, Andrew, what is the tentative literature of agile and predictive? Good question. So PMI says 50-50. But, you know, a lot of people that have taken the real exam say it's more like, they say it's more like 70% agile. All right? PMI says 50-50, but realistically, a lot of people say it's more 60-70% agile. Andrew, guess what? I wore blue. That means you aced the exam. I hope so. Put it put below. Let me know. I, I don't Andrew. I took the PMP and passed your course and book with the key to my success. Crystal, congratulations on that. I'm super happy we were able to help you pass your exam. The question is, did you celebrate well? Did you get a piece of cake? <clears throat> so super congratulations, Crystal. Uh, so you use the book. Well, don't forget, guys, if you use the book, it comes with the course. You guys would be surprised. The number of books I sell to people that register for the course is only half. I don't know why, but... Crystal, absolutely, congratulations on that. Welcome to the club. For all of you guys that passed, Crystal included, put this on your resume. Put it on your LinkedIn. Don't forget, join me on LinkedIn, all right? Send me send me an invite uh, or follow me or something. Uh, hopefully, this opens many doors to you guys, all right? Mm -hmm. 
Yep, click on the like. Oh boy, I scrolled down, almost had a heart attack. Uh, hey Andrew, I'm currently enrolled in the PMI, uh, PM, PMI course through them. It's going great, but I have a hands-on experience you have hands-on experience in Jira? Uh, no, you're in the wrong class. Maybe you're in the wrong stuff. I have never used Jira before in my life. Mm -hmm. I use Microsoft Project. Small shop. The new rule has to be implemented on the day of the new rule. <laughs> I don't know about that. Are you talking about wearing the blue? Leroy, hey Andrew, can your PMP study guide help? Yes, it could, but it doesn't have the, the BA. I might write a CAPM study guide because a lot of it technically is the PM. A lot of it is, a lot of it is actually, you know, it's PMP. But then I got to write a whole BA section, and I, I just don't have the time. But almost all the knowledge here you need to know for CAPM, and what you guys don't really realize is the new CAPM is actually bigger than PMP, because PMP you need to know predictive, agile. For PMP and for CAPM, you need to know predictive, agile, and BA. So PMP is actually, even though it's an easier exam because it's not really scenario so much, it's it's a bigger knowledge base. Go figure on that. Hey Andrew, what is it? Okay, no, he answered that. Uh, hey Andrew, how to stay motivated throughout the duration of preparation? Think of the way to stay motivated is to think of the end. Don't worry. Don't think about what you're doing. Just, just do it. Keep thinking of the end game. Keep thinking of the raise. Think of the cake. Think of the beer. I don't know. Think of something. Why did you do PMP in the first place? Why are you setting up yourself on this journey? Think of the end game. All right. Think about what you're gonna get on it. You got this. All right. That's what you gotta do. Think about your family. Don't think of you. All right. Forget about you. Think about your family. Think of how much you can help them if you make some more money. All right. Think about your children. Think about your mother. Think about your your spouse. All right. That's what you gotta do. That's how I. That's how I do. It. That's how I stay motivated. And then I think of a reward. Like every time I do something big in my life, I reward myself. Whether it's buying that new laptop, because I like buying useless tech things. Uh, buy a new tablet. You know, buy something nice. Doesn't have to be super expensive. But, you know, the other day, uh, I wanted to buy a new tablet. But I said, let me finish this. Let me finish this, what I was doing. And I bought a, a little iPad mini, the new one. So something like that, you know, that's how you stay motivated. And then hold off. Like if I'm really studying, I would say I'm not going to drink any beer or eat any cake, which you guys don't like doing, until I've accomplished that goal. That's how you do it. All right, Diana says, hey, Andrews, the website I've been completing, and now, uh, no, it's fine. You should be able to log in. Should be good. All right, uh, I checked it very recently. It was fine. Now, if you send any email to support, support's been busy, so they have not gotten back to you guys. I give support like another maybe 12 hours or so. All right. Uh, I got my results after 24 hours. One PERT question. was yeah. Make sure you guys know PERT, all right? Know all your EVM formulas too and PERT. Uh, but 24 hours. Yeah, that's what I told people. A lot of people are getting it in a day or two. Uh, Andrew, watching from Germany. Thanks for being there with us. Not a problem. Not a problem. Uh, Andrew, do you have any Agile? No. I don't have an ACP simulator. Same for PMP and Pasta. Congratulations on that, Miguel. Did you celebrate well? Did you get a piece of cake? I hope so. How about some how about some coke? I got my result within 34 hours, and it's said to be obviously, yes, you said you were blue. I told you you were gonna pass. From being uh from being on here since two months, and you have been my only companion. <laughs> you know, I tell all the students. Uh, I tell all my students, you're not alone, all right? In the course, come and join me. Join me in these live streams. I answer your questions. So, yeah, don't think you're alone. Congratulations on that. 
Hopefully you celebrated well. I remember you did say you wore that blue shirt. Congratulations on that. Super happy able to help you pass, keeping you motivated. Did you get you gotta go put that P and P to use? All of you. Update that resume. You have to get IPAs to celebrate. Tell them, Miguel. Big fan of IPA. I had a couple IPAs last week. I forgot. Uh, but I had a I had an interesting IPA last week at a Greek restaurant. It was really good. But I forgot the name. Uh yeah, I forgot. Uh, hey, Andrew, I uh, would love to see you do more ways to celebrate. Like, <laughs> Yeah, I got to show you guys. Would you guys like to see how Andrew celebrates? Hmm? Would you guys like to see more videos of my personal life? Would that interest you guys? Would you guys like to see what keeps me thinking or clicking or doing what I do? Put it in the chat box. Would that be interesting? Um, hey, Andrew, I passed my CAPM and... CSM last year. You got this. It means you got a good head start. PMP next. You got this, okay? Yeah, people management is good. But you got to agile. You're pretty much almost studied for your PMP, so you should go through it just like that. You got this. David, I currently studying PMP through the Udemy course. Uh, on this, recommended to take the uh, exam online? I still recommend it. I recommend to take it. But listen, David, reliable internet, Reliable computer, you're good. Take it online. If you don't have any of that, don't do it. All right? You're going to have bad experience. I have taken tons of exam online. I just took the CAPM in July. No problem. I took uh, a Pearson View exam a couple other weeks before that. No problem. I took in four Pearson View this year. No problem. I don't know what people are talking about. I have never had a problem. And I've taken all the A pluses, the net plus, security plus. I take them every time they come out. I'm about to take security plus that comes out in a few weeks. Uh, the new one, never had a problem. With Pearson View Online, people have bad computers. I'm a tech person, so obviously my tech works. But if you have bad tech, don't recommend it. Hey, Andrew, completed your course. Currently using the TI simulator. Plan to take the PMP in the first week of November. You got this. Go through it. You got this. Let me know how you do. Hey, Andrew, I passed my PMP three above target September 22nd. Wore blue head to toe. Congratulations, Linda. Celebrated with chocolate. What? I don't know what that is. No, no, chocolate. Vanilla. See, I can't even read. Vanilla brunt cake. I don't know what that is. Let me Google that. And Portillo. I, I can't even pronounce it. I don't even know what that is. But I'm always interested to check out different cakes because I need to know if I want to eat that. Vanilla. I can't pronounce that word. I wish you guys can talk to me. Um, hey, that looks pretty good. It just looks like a sponge cake. It looks like some kind of like upside it down like sponge cake. All cake is amazing. So. <laughs> that does look good. Okay, I got to try to leave that in my uh, thing there. Thank you for your great book, online class and simulator. Thank you, Linda. Letting us know, keeping us motivated. Congratulations, Linda, on passing your PMP exam. And, of course, you celebrated well. You know what will go good with that cake, Linda? Some cherry vanilla Coke. Think about that. Cherry vanilla Coke and a piece of, like, Vanilla cake. Good stuff. I don't know what the other thing is, though. Congratulations, Linda, keeping us motivated. Um, all right, here's some exam tips. Read the stem of the question. Apply the mindset, and you will see the answer. Four drag and drop. Wow, that's interesting because I've had a lot of people say no drag and drop. Two PERT, very difficult, not straight ones. Two EVM, one graph reading of a burn down, not straightforward. Okay, good. There you go. You guys just got the down low. So this person is saying, we got four drag and drop, two PERT formulas. They're, they're not straightforward. Make sure you know it well. Two EVM questions. One burn down uh, chart question. So make sure you guys know that. Once again, congratulations. Thank you. Keeping us motivated and giving us some good things on the exam there. Hey, Andrew, I've taken my test on the 28th. I've got my results 24. I passed. Congratulations! Celebrated with crab legs. I don't like cake. 
Tom, you're the first person in this world. You're the only person, I think, in this world that don't like cake. You know the reason you don't like cake, Tom? Because you never had a good cake. <laughs> Maybe you like crab cakes. <laughs> How about that? Maybe, so you do, do you like crab cakes, Tom? Because then you do like cake. So, you just haven't had the right cake. But absolutely, congratulations on passing your exam. You celebrated. I do like crab legs. They're amazing. Get some good butter in there. Crab legs are amazing. I would still tell you to get some good cake. You know what goes good with crab legs? A couple of beers. You know I was going to say that, right? Congratulations, Tom, on passing. Remember to watch the Domain and the Mindset. Yes. Thank you, Tom. Keeping us motivated. The confirmed to go PMI uh, risk will wait for your material to come. I don't have any material on that. I've never even looked at it. There's not a lot of people that want it, so I'm not going to make it. Uh, it takes a lot of time. You guys know how long it takes to make a course? Like a, a month to two months. Hey, Andrew, cleared my PMP exam with three above targets in all domains last March. Congratulations. Your book, Course Simulator, was super helpful. Thank you so much. Is there a networking course coming out? soon network plus that's the next one on the agenda because i have um oh what do you know it's dead uh i have uh finished the capm i finished the capm simulator i finished the capm uh course so now i can't train on that now i'm gonna go back to comptia lots of comptia products coming out all right so congratulations did you celebrate well never read pembach agile guys slides and simulator uh, guys, slides and simulator books are more than sufficient. I do agree with that. Yeah, they are. Okay. Hey, Andrew, uh, your course helped me pass the PMP. Thanks a lot. Celebrated with hamburgers in a place nearby. Thanks to the new course to help keep the to to keep the PMP. No problem. Though. Welcome to the world of PMP. Now, this hamburgers. Let's talk hamburgers. You know, you know what's the best place to eat hamburgers? Andrew's opinion. Now we're on this topic. Burger King. Mm-hmm. Burger King makes the best burgers, man. I've had burgers all over the United States from all kinds of restaurants, from the really cheap ones to the really expensive $30 burgers to the, to the you know, the 99 cent burger. And at the end of the day, a double Whopper with cheese. Even though I'm lactose intolerant, it's got to gotta sacrifice. A double Whopper, still the best thing out there. Love a double Whopper. All right. In fact, this week, I can guarantee. Holy crap! I scrolled down. Good God, I'm gonna be. All right, I gotta go through these questions quick. In fact, this week, guys, I'm getting a double whopper. All right, double whopper and some cake. It's a new thing. Whopper, cake, beer, life, heaven, my friends, heaven. Obviously, you guys know I like to eat. Yep. Gotta eat, guys. Part of life. Is there any MBTI questions? They could be. Some people get them. Some people don't. I completed two. I completed two courses. You gave away free today already. Do you have any additional? No, that's all I got for the, today. Uh, EAC has two formulas. I used the first one. BAC divided by CPI. Uh, hey Andrew, what is the tentative weightage? Oh no, I answered that one. All right, what have we got here? Um, I click on, okay, here we go. Speaking of Udemy, I bought the 35-unit PDU course. What is 720? Are the questions similar to the one, the 720 similar to, no. The simulator is a whole different thing. The simulator has video explanations of all the questions. The one on Udemy is more of a continuation of the questions you already have in the course. It's more like to test your knowledge, see how much you remembered from watching those videos. The simulator will give you the full exam experience. Hey, I'm doing the PMP. Can I use a pocket calculator? Yes. If you're doing the PMP, if you're just doing my course, use a calculator. On the exam, they will give you an online calculator. But yes, you will get a calculator. Hey, Andrew, I started studying for the PMP earlier this year with your PMP course. Is, there, is that class still okay to use? Yes, it is. It has not changed. Hey, Andrew, I passed my PMP last week. Thank you, and God bless you. Any recommendation? Recommended course to improving people? No. Look for any course that talks about managing people, emotional intelligence, managerial skills, anything 
that deals with soft skills. Andrew thought about making a course like that, uh, but I don't have time. I thought about doing a course like that. Would you guys be interested in me making a course on people skill? What do you guys think? Yes or no? How to build up your project manager people skill? I should do a course. Would, would that be an interesting like Udemy course? What do you guys think? Put it in a box. Gain some PDUs for it. Uh, can you? By the way, congratulations on that. Did you celebrate well? Did you? Did you get a couple of beers? How, how about a piece of cake? Congratulations on that. Can your PMP up? Yes. That, okay, we did answer that one already. Hey, Andrew, I passed the PMP exam two above target my second try. Okay, not a problem, but you know what? Pass is pass. I focus strictly on the simplified from Amazon, watch all your videos, and did the access code from the book, use the simulator. Congratulations, Lucky. Welcome to the world of PMP. Did you celebrate well? Now, if you didn't pass and then you pass, you should celebrate even more exceptionally well ultra congratulations on that i'm super happy we were able to help you pass your exam all right ultra congratulations on that like and share the video asp yeah that would be pretty cool is there a discount on repurchasing the simulator uh send them an email see what they say okay i don't control that simulator see people have a it's a third-party platform so that, that's, uh, I just put the content on it. So, you know, people don't realize that. It's like Udemy. I don't control the price on Udemy. You know, Udemy has prices all over the, all over the place. One day it's like 200 bucks. The next day it's like 10 hours. Uh, hey, Andrew, keep up the great work. Thank you. Thanks, thanks. Is it true that if you write the project manager in a particular way, we will not know? BS. Whoever told you that is garbage. I've seen... Complete BS descriptions not get audited. I've seen perfect descriptions get audited. Write your description. Uh, I got a video on an audit coming up soon. I did not get to make it as I was too busy last week. I have an interesting video for you guys. <clears throat> I have a really interesting experience from a student of mine that got audited and then got denied. This video on that. And then I'll, there's an interesting story to this. I have a student live, you know, I teach live classes. By the way, join me, TIAPMastermind.com. I'm teaching a live PMP class, October 16th. Uh, she was, this person was a live student of mine and they got their application audited, then they denied it. And there's a there's a way to get it, you know, reinstated. Interesting story. Watch the video. Coming soon. Uh, hey, Andrew, thank you for your guidance and mentor. Any recommended study and simulations for the PGMP? No. No, no, no. Nothing on that, Mike. I haven't touched PGM. I took PGMP when it first came out. I haven't touched it since 2012. I don't know of any course, books. I don't, I've never looked it up. But from when I did it, there's not a lot of materials. First of all, there's only like 2,000 people in the, the last like 10 plus years. So I don't know. I don't really think, you know, I really don't think there's a lot of materials for it. Because remember, as content makers, we are not going to make content for something that has a very small. Like if I go and I invest a lot of time and effort into making a PGMP course and whatever, at the end of the day, how much am I going to sell, right? It's time versus money. It's like, if I put in all this time, then what can I get out of it? And there's not a lot of people to sell it to. The market is very small. Hey, Andrew, I have five years of Scrum Master experience. Yep, you're good for PMP. you got to have a minimum of three years if you have a degree. Well, you'll be answering that one. Congratulations. All right, all right. Hey, Andrew, I passed my PMP3. But congratulations on that. Did you celebrate well? Did you get a piece of cake? Did you uh, drink a couple of beers or had some Coke or something? Tell me how you celebrated. Absolutely. Congratulations to that, Jane. And uh, update your resume. By the way, when you pass, don't forget to tag me on LinkedIn. Some of you guys have not been doing that. Absolutely. Congratulations on that. Welcome to the world of PMP. 
Um, on that, as a hander, I'm going through you, Demi Course of the PMP. By the way, thank you. Keeping us motivated. Yeah, I'm going through you, you Demi Course of the PMP, but the issue that I'm facing is I can't get the PMP damn new edition in Bangladesh. Could you tell me where I can get it? Uh, just go to TIAexams.com and you can buy the book as an ebook. TIAexams.com. Get it as an ebook on that website. All right? If if Amazon, if this book is not available in your country because Amazon is not there. Amazon has an exclusive on the print. So uh, they're the only ones that can print it. So if they don't sell in your country, TIAexams.com has the ebook there, okay? Andrew, would you give us some promo code to the simulator? No, we don't have any promo codes for it. <laughs> yeah, Andrew, I have my exam scheduled for October 19. I've been scoring 65 TA. Is it okay to reset the score and try again? Yeah, you can try to you can try to mock uh, film run out of mocks. Do it as many times as you like, all right? But the best thing to do is remember when you're doing the mock exam, it's not about just getting it wrong, it's understand why you got it wrong. Don't start to memorize the answers. Understand why you got it wrong. I, you don't need an 80, but I, that's what I recommend. And you're starting PMP in Udemy today. I really like your teaching style. Thank you. I said thank you. You said thank you. Should I wait to st start until I receive the hard copy of the Simplified Book? No. Keep going. Keep going. The Simplified Book is more of a cram guide to that course. It's a good follow-up. Just one more thing about my experience. I exceeded the plan time in the first two sections, but made up for it in the third. Mindset help. I'm yet to have the carrot cake this weekend. Get the carrot cake. I don't care where you go. Get the carrot cake. Congratulations on passing once again. Yeah, you guys got to watch the clock. I know of a student that failed the exam a couple days ago because they ran out of time. Felt person said they felt good about the questions. They felt that they were doing well, but they just couldn't keep up with the time. You got to watch the clock, guys. Andrew took my PMP last Friday. All right. Last Friday felt most, uh, mostly agile. Yesterday received my approval at first pass. At, uh, first approval at the first attempt. All right. So congratulations on that. Did you celebrate well? Did you get a piece of cake? All right. Use the blue shoe. Blue jeans. Blue sweater. Greetings from Lima, Peru. All right. All the way from Peru. All right. Very good. All the way from around the world. We got people passing all the way around the world. Congratulations on that. Hey, for those of you guys watching, put in the box what country you're from. Let's do another survey. Put in the box. If you haven't never typed in the box, you click in the little box, generally on the right side or somewhere in the bottom if you're watching on your phone. And put in the box what country you're from. Let's see from all around the world. All right. Let's see if we get the worlds unite. Right here tonight. So absolutely congratulations that I am super happy able to help you pass. Make sure to celebrate well. I'm pretty sure to have all kinds of fascinating cakes in your country and beer. Pretty sure they got beer too. Uh, or Coke. Every country has Coke. Get some of that. You're going to be all right. Congratulations on that. Thank you for keeping us motivated. <clears throat> Linda, I just completed the boot camp with Michael. He's amazing. I'm working on applying today, tomorrow, target is 20th. Scored 70 on my first without studying. That's, I mean, 60. That's not bad, Linda, if you haven't studied. But I'm disappointed that you didn't study all this time. Put the work in, Linda. You got this. Come back. Let us know after the 20th. You're going to ace your exam. It was all waterfall embedded in Agile and Hybrid to know the answer to jab to know all four, to jab you to know all 49. I can still write it on a paper in five minutes told us in the first lecture yeah so you don't need to write those 49 but you do need to understand them yes do need to understand the different methods that's out there i might be off subjects but i'm following your course uh ms project improve my skills in pdus i don't have a demo version it's so expensive do you have some ideas um do i have some ideas uh you should be able to get a trial version let me see something. So I can Google right now. 
Um, I can Google right now and let me see. Maybe I can find you a link. So if you Google it, you can find it. There are trial versions of uh, Microsoft Project. All right. Yeah, you got to look. I don't know. They should be because when I did the course, there was a bunch of these uh, trials that was out there. Yeah, look for look for Microsoft Project Trial. See what you get. All right. You might be able to get. Uh, oh, there's something called Project Plan 3. That's That seems to have it now. I think that's what they're doing. They're including some kind of a plan in there. And see what you can get. All right. Hey, Andrew, uh, any tips on giving the Fort Mock exam? Time to give those. Yeah, review your mindset. Review the other three exams. See why you get it wrong. Watch the videos. Don't memorize the question. Know why you got something wrong. That's the key to pass in. Watching from AD Andrew. Thank you for your dedication. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We got people from all around the world once again. Um, Andrew, can you take a minute to explain the domains of predictive relation to... Predictive is the... Listen, those 49 processes in theory can be applied to any project, but those 49 processes really predictive project management. All right. Those 49 processes are what, when we say, for your exam purposes, when we say predictive project management, we mean those 49 processes. Agile is, has its own thing, like Scrum, the Scrum process, right? Scrum ceremonies and artifacts. That's what you need to know, all right? Those 49 process means predictive. In fact, if you look at the, uh, you know, if you look at this book, Process Group or Practice Guide, in this book, okay, it tells you, word for word, uh, it tells you that these things, I don't know if I'm going to find it here, but um, let's see here. So you guys can't see this because this camera is not that amazing, but this book, look, process, this describes the 49 process. This is the replacement to the Pemba Guide 6 edition the video I showed you guys. You see... It tells you right here, it says, this is like page one. It says, okay, it says here, now it says, are intended for practitioners who primarily follow a predictive or waterfall approach. This guide describes the 49 processes within the five process groups with the inputs, tools, techniques, and outputs. So PMI is telling you that these 49 processes is predominantly used on what? Predom predictive or waterfall or, or plant-based projects. There you go. All the proof you ever need. All right. Hopefully we got that one done. Uh, Andrew, uh, we are here for you. Andrew is the great. Andrew is the greatest. Maybe. <laughs> I hope so. Almost one month in, I'm getting hard to jungle the MBA. I'm trying. You got this. You got this. All right? Do PMP first, though. Uh, hello, Andrew. Uh, Agile principle number 10 is unclear to me. It's simplicity. The art of maximizing the amount of work not done is essential. All right. So that's pretty easy. So first of all, here's what you got to understand. When you do Agile, okay, when you do Agile, is it's all about making things as simple as possible. All right? And when you think about the other part now that says maximizing the amount of work not done is essential. Um, what you got to understand is we have to make sure that, wait a minute, why maximizing the work not done? Because you want to make sure that you do the work correct. Simple too. All right, that's all it means. 
So always remember, keep it as simple as possible. Break it down as simple as possible. And you're going to understand exactly what you're doing. All right, hopefully that made sense, all right? Remember, simplicity. The key word there is simplicity. If you have to find two or three different ways, Agile looks for the simplest way possible. I want to take the exam at Pearson View. No BS, take a sweater. I went to take the exam. Yeah, I have to disagree with you, but it's not bad. Yes, please. How do you stay motivated? Like a pro. Please do a video. I got it. Okay. Maybe one of these days. Cherry, vanilla, Coke, and rum. Can't do rum. I don't drink hard liquor. Andrew does not drink hard liquor. All right. I never drink hard liquor. Uh, to me, it all tastes bad. All hard liquor tastes bad. They all taste like rubbing alcohol. All of them. Especially vodka. <laughs> Do you know what happened to Cybersecurity Project Management course? Uh, I never had one of those. Mm -hmm. Super chat. All right, Amir. Thank you, Amir. That means a lot. I just want to say I'm, uh, I'm in the last step of taking the official certification, Coursera. What advice to give? What advice will I? What's your advice? Will I get a job or what to do next? Interesting question. I'm not sure what. I'm the last step of taking the official certification. Are you talking the PMP? Because Coursera is its own thing. That's its own like learning hub. Is Coursera preparing you to take your certification? Is that what you're saying? Um, do you have project management experience would be my question. What do you do next? Well, get the certification. I'm assuming that's what you're going to get. Put it on your resume and then put practical application of project management things that you did to, and then apply to get some jobs and start applying. You know, one of the things you gotta remember, project management is not a industry. Project management is not a profession by itself, like, like accounting or IT, like network and cybersecurity or something. Project management is an industry inside of an industry, right? It's a skill within an industry. So IT project managers, sales project managers, construction project managers. So what is your industry? How well do you know your industry? These are all questions you got to ask. And then you can start narrowing your job. But nobody is going to give you a job in an industry you don't have experience in. Let me ask you guys a question. You guys agree or disagree with that? If you're applying for a job in project management, and you don't have experience in that industry or project management, your ability to get a job in that industry you have no experience in is close to zero. If you guys agree or disagree, put in the chat box. Let me know. You have to make sure that you have some kind of experience in that industry. makes it a lot easier in there. If not, you can start as a junior project manager in that industry. Okay, hopefully that made sense. Thank you once again, Super Chat. That does mean a lot. Thank you for that. Uh... How are the Security Plus? Does your course have mock exams? Does your course have... Yes, it does. If you look at my Security Plus, is that that's why you, the 601 exam? I said that it is... If you do like A plus, net plus, it's not that difficult. But if you don't have A plus, net plus, yeah, it's difficult. It is. If you don't have the right background, you got to have a good networking background. Do your net plus. PMP exam scheduled next Tuesday the 10th. You got this. Study Udemy course and did the six mock exams results. All right. You're doing good. You're going to ace it. Come back. Let me know next week how you do, okay? Same here, challenge. Yes, it was a challenging test. Hello again. I passed my PMP this Saturday. Thank you again for the mindset. Quick question. I went to ACP, um, PMI ACP. Do you have a self-paced course? Yes, I do. On Udemy, I do have a PMI ACP course. Check it out. Uh, absolutely. Congratulations on that. Welcome to the world of PMP. I am super happy we were able to help you pass your exam. Did you celebrate well? Did you get a piece of cake? How about a couple of beers? Put it in a box. Let now you celebrate. Thank you once again. Keeping us motivated. Andrew, you are awesome. I hope so. Thank you. Crab cake. Classic. Imp <laughs> yeah, that was a good one to come up with, right? 
Hey, Andrew, my application was approved in December. Excellent, excellent, but I have neither paid the fees nor scan. What would be the best course of action for me to take the exam? What are you taking in February? What do you What do you get? The PhD? Six months? Is it six months? Yeah, it's like five, six months. Stop it. Schedule your test right now. Okay, here's what I want you to do right now. Okay, Molly Peter 100. Molly Peter 100. Here's what you do. Right now, go to PMI, pay for the test, and schedule it maybe the end of November. Okay? End of November, maybe mid-December, the latest. If you're a slacker, do mid-December. If you're a good, hard, dedicated person, put it to mid-November. And start studying, man. What are you getting, a PhD last December? Come on, man. You should have been certified. Think of, you know, and this goes for all of you. Let me just go on another rant. Molly, Peter, 100. Here's the rant. Listen to me, guys. Every single day you're not certified, Every single day you push off the certification to do some other stuff is a lost opportunity, okay? If, if this certification would have gotten you a raise, then you just gave up your whole raise. If this certification had given you a $10,000 raise, then you lost $10,000 because you should have been certified since the beginning of the year. And this goes for all of you. Every single one of you that is procrastinating, all right, Oh, I don't have time. I have to work. Remember something. Time don't make time for you, man. Time don't stop for you. Time don't care about you. In fact, time ticks you to debt. Every second is once. Every second pass is a second closer to the grave. The clock ticks life away. Let's say it in a song like that. And that was a Lincoln Park. So every second that you're wasting, you're not gaining the benefits of the certification. Whether that's a better job, better pay, maybe same job, better pay, maybe more knowledge, whatever it is you're, you're not doing. So go do it right now and stop this one year. Come on, man. You got this. It's not that difficult. You know, they say the hardest part about the PMP certification is studying for it. I'm serious. What do you guys think? For all of you guys that have passed, what do you guys think? For all of you guys that have passed, what was harder? Dedicating the time to study or actually taking the test, right? What was the most difficult part of your procedure? I know the test was hard, but now that you pass and you look back at it, retrospective, remember this word? You know, you look back at this, say to yourself, you know, put, put the choice in the box. Come on now, guys. By the way, if you have not, click on the like button. Hey, Andrew, I took, Andrew, it took me a while to be able to rejoin these sessions, but I passed my PMP on August 10th. It's my birthday, by the way, August 10th. Congratulations, Lucy. I'm super happy for you. Thank you so much for your study materials, advice, and encouragement. Be blessed. Thank you, Lucy. Welcome to the world of PMP. I am super happy to be able to help you pass your exam on the first try. So, ultra congratulations on that. Did you celebrate well? Did you get a piece of cake? I know it was two months ago, but maybe you're still celebrating. Maybe, you know what? Go celebrate again this weekend. Because you told me, celebrate again. All right. Congratulations, Lucy. Hi, Andrew. Hello to you, too. Uh, I passed my PMP on September 7th. Congratulations. All my preparations were based on your Udemy course, TIA Simulator, and these weekly puzzles. Thank you so much coming back, letting us know, keeping us motivated. Did you get a piece of cake? Put it in the chat box. Did you get a piece of cake? Let me know. All right. You got this. Stern says, what about burger? What a, what about bur what? What a what a burger is great. I've never heard of that. Maybe they don't have that in New York. I don't know. Let me see that one. Miguel says, Andrew, come to Atlanta. She a real burger. No Burger King, man. Miguel, I've tried burgers from everywhere. You know what it is with Burger King? I like Flame Grill. Okay, the best burger in the world is the one I cook on my Smokey Joe. Who in here knows what a Smokey Joe is? It's a little grill. Google it. Weber's Smokey Joe. I got a little Smokey Joe. I'll take a picture one day. I think there's a picture on my Instagram. But I don't know if I ever put one. Uh, I cook on a Smokey Joe. Those burgers are amazing. Love that smoke taste. I'm a big fan of grill. 
like smoky grilled taste. That's why I like Burger King so much because it's one of the only burgers that has it. It's not just fried on like oil. I like grilled burgers. I just signed up for the CAPM course and you, you told me yesterday I wanted to check in if this is a stepping stone to become a project manager. Yes, it is. You are on the right path to becoming a certified project manager. Go through the course. Take your exam. You're going to ace your test. You got this. All right. Come back. Let us know when you pass. Come back. Holy good God. I scrolled down and now I'm having a heart attack. Uh... Yeah, Andrew, what is the cost of your PM mindset course? Can you share a link? Is that the mastermind course? It's two thousand dollars. Go to tiapmmastermind.com. Tiapmmastermind.com. That's it. Starting at people skills. Yes, I should do a course on people skills. Okay, you guys do agree on that? All right, Linda is going to tell me what this is. All right, Linda is a Chicagoland restaurant. Italian beef sandwich. Like that. Hot dogs and burgers. It's so good, yes. A beef sandwich sounds good already. I love a big steak. I'm absolutely amazing. That does sound good. Chicago Land Restaurant. All right, we'll put that name down. If I ever go to Chicago, we got to make sure we check it out. After PMP, what's the timeline to getting results? It seems to be like one, two, three days. I paid for the exam today and still not received my log. And give it a few minutes. Send them back to support. If you paid for a journey, it's outage. It's uh, everything has been delayed. There was a couple of things with the simulator. Um, there was a couple of things with the simulator that need, needed to get updated this morning. So there was an issue with it with the website, and it's it's all fixed now. They, they did a good job. They did really good. You know, it's the first time in two years I've seen it go down. We're doing some updates to it. That's why. All right, uh, vanilla ice cream plus hot carrot hawala, Indian sweet dish. Okay, I don't know. try it. You'll, you'll forget carrot cake. <laughs> I don't know about that, man. I don't know about that. First of all, I wouldn't eat ice cream because it's I don't drink milk. I'm lactose intolerant, and um, I take like these lactate pills to eat like cake, but straight ice cream I can't do. I like. Like uh, some cheeses, I can eat some. I can't. I'm an implementation specialist, but I do have some components part of my job. Okay, can I still qualify? Yes, but you gotta have the right number of experience, years of experience. So if you have three years and a degree, you're good. If not five years, people say yes to doing that. Uh, all right, you guys do like that. Maybe we'll do. Maybe maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do a course on people's skills, hey, Andrew. Thanks for all you do. For one who doesn't have a lot of experience in PM, would you say yes? If you don't have a lot of experience, do the CAPM. If you have, don't have a lot of experience, you can't get your PMP in the first place. But if you do qualify because you have just enough experience to get past a PMP application, then do your PMP. Guys, don't share your credentials simulator on random LinkedIn groups. Uh, I joined one group and saw this practice. Uh, yeah, don't do that. If we find you share your credentials, it tracks IPs. So if you share your credential and the system detects, and this has happened to a few people, um, for example, if you share your credentials and there is a way they detect it, I don't know how, and they find that the credential was shared, it bans your account and you lose your money. Do not share your credentials with people. All right, come on, guys. Andrew worked hard for you guys. I don't charge a lot of money for these products. It's enough money uh, to pay the, the simulator. I really don't make money on at all. I'll be honest with you guys. I don't make money in simulator. Do I make a little bit of money with the book? Well, I make Jeff Binzo very rich with my book. All right, uh, the Udemy course. Obviously, you can see the price is not a lot. So There's not a lot of money. We don't make a. None of these content providers makes a lot of money doing this. This is the reason I still have a nine to five job, guys. All right, so please, guys, don't do that. You know, don't share the stuff. It's not right. Andrew worked hard for you guys. Come on, you guys can put in a little. You know, is it worth? You know what you're getting. Come on, Andrew. Will you be doing any courses in the future related to safe agile? 
I said P minus the certification, P my RMP. I wouldn't do RMP. There's a lot of people for safe agile. Maybe it depends on. I like doing courses that has a lot of people. All right, we got the United States. We got Earth. I gotta go there one day. I've never been there. Canada, USA. We got a lot of USA folks here today. All right, let's go down this list here so we can uh, we can see where you guys are from. All right, here we are. Malaysia, all right, we got Asia, Malaysia, Canada, India, all right, India, Haiti, all right. A lot of you guys did not respond, I can see that. Uh, United States, Japan, all right, we seem to be going on. Canada, uh, what do we got, USA, all right, Vietnam, more Asia, United States again. India, Canada, Canada, a lot of, Can a lot of Canadians. Uh, Texas, all right, good, good. USA, Colombia, Canada, Sri Lanka, my wife's country. USA, Maryland, all right, good, good. All right, so pretty much all around the world. You know what? I didn't see no European countries. Did we miss some? You? Do we have anybody from Europeans? We got African nation. We got Asia. Do we have Australia? North America, South America. Andrew from Argentina, I passed the PMP. Thanks to you, Demi Course. Oh, you a cake. I one day when I come to Argentina, we'll go grab a cake, all right? I like that last name, Ferrari, good name. All right, congratulations on passing your exam. I am super happy. We're able to help you pass. Don't get me a cake. I'm all the way in New York. Get yourself a piece of cake. Big cake. Quarter, quarter of a cake. Congratulations on passing that exam. Welcome to the world of PMP. Did you celebrate well? You didn't put out you celebrate. You said you're gonna get me a cake. I don't. I'm already celebrating. Congratulations on that, Kimberly. Ja okay, you're in the United States. I just dive into your book and course you demi today, and I am more than excited. I can't wait to come back and share with them. You got this. When you come back, when you pass, you're gonna come back. You're gonna let me know you wore blue. You had a piece of cake. You had a couple of days. You got this. Nepal. Keep forgetting. Okay, yeah, okay, I got you. Now, Nepal, congratulations on that. Uh, currently in the United States. All right, welcome. Congratulations. Moving to the United States. Welcome to the United States. Panama. All right, I got to go there one day. Puerto Rico. Hey, look at that. We do have somebody from Australia. Very good. We do. Maybe we have the whole world. Question, based off your course material, how long would you estimate be ready to sit for the... Uh, most people, 60 to 100 hours is what I tell people. If you study two hours a day for 30 days, you're good. That includes a 35-hour class. So once you finish a 35-hour class, it should take you another 30 to 70 hours. Keep that in mind. Depending on how fast you study. Tell me about your offering for ISE. I want to take it in December. So Sterling, go to TIAEDU.com. It's only in a live class. Uh... And uh, we do teach it live. If you take the live class, either I'm teaching or my partner Juan is teaching, but we do have an e-learning course. If you get Juan as the instructor, who's an amazing teacher, better than I am, um, you get him teaching and you get my e-learning class. I have a whole e-learning class. It's not really an e-learning. It's a, it's a pre-recorded boot camp that I did a while back. So you get that. Ace your exam. A lot of people pass with our course. I do like teaching that class. You get a trial version or a cloud version, not the professional. You could get a trial or a cloud version. Okay, this is going back to Microsoft. Yeah, I couldn't find it. I thought I could, but take the cloud version. See, maybe it looks the same. Hey, Andrew, uh, what course? Uh, hey, Andrew, when a course from you about program manager? Not yet. There's not a lot of people looking for it. That's why. Sam, hey, I've completed your exam next month. Any tips for studying? You demi course and trying a few questions I got wrong and answered them more. You know what to do? Go get the simulator. If you have completed the Udemy course, get the simulator, TIAexams.com. Go get the simulator and take your test. Go through it. Try to get at least an 80%, and I think you're going to be okay. That's what you should be doing. All right? Go through it. See what you did right. See what you did wrong. See what needs to be corrected or not. And go and take the test, all right? You got to get, once you finish the course, guys, you have to get a good practice test. You have to know where you stand. You have to learn the mindset. 
Uh, once you know the mindset, the exam is not that difficult. Hey, Andrew, I have my PMP on October just a few days. Congrats. Good luck. That's yeah, about... Come back next week. Let me know how you do. You got this. Get a good night's sleep. My exam is in the afternoon. There's no availability. Mm. I would move... I like taking exams in the morning. In the afternoon, I'm a little tired. Not my personal preference, but then again, some people like that. Okay, this is a question I asked you guys uh, earlier. If you guys agree, it's hard getting a job if you don't have experience in that industry. Yep. A lot of folks says they agree. Not project manager. Yeah, okay, a lot of people do agree. So many application last for I'm nervous. Don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. You're, you're, you're going to get it. Definitely agree. I passed my PMP last year, but worked for IT for an additional six months before I realized I needed to focus my resume for IT experience before I landed. Uh, before I landed my opportunities, yes. You can't, you know, listen, nobody... Let me ask you guys another question. There's a lot of you guys online. I have never done anything in construction, okay? I have never... I mean, I don't even know how to screw in a light bulb, okay? Would you hire me to manage a project to build you a house? Yes or no? I don't know anything about construction, all right? Like nothing. I mean, realistically, not book-wise. I wouldn't hire me to manage a construction project. I don't care how much PMP you have. Um, I would like the project manager to know what he's doing when he's doing that job or she's doing so, uh, thanks for this session. I'll see you next Tuesday. You got this. All right, no problem, Heather. Heather's out. Everyone talks about this mindset thing. Hope to get there soon. Just starting Demi course after one year of purchase. Yeah, you're right to do that. Would you wait? Would you get a PhD here, man? This is what we just mentioned earlier. Stop with the procrastinating. Go do it. Keep it real, Andrew. Thanks. That's the idea. <laughs> Taking time to study. Yeah, this is what it is. Dedicate time to study by far. You see, you see, these are people that pass. Remember I said this. The hardest thing about passing that exam is not actually studying. Time to study. Dedicating. Studying is difficult. The test is damn easy. <laughs> you see, I told you guys. It's the studying. See, studying. Taking to... Taking the time to study is the, is the most demanded. I'm preparing to take mine soon. Yes. Taking the time to study for a PMP is the hardest part about studying for a PMP. The easiest part about a PMP is taking the test and passing. Okay? Studying. Dedicating time. Giving up things you like. Not spending time with family. Being away from work. Being away from all the things you love in life. To study for a PMP, that's difficult. Passing the test, that's the easy part. So remember that when you're studying. I simply do not get the confidence to take the exam. Prepared, I'm, I'm, I prepare, then it falls apart due to project deadlines, personal issues. Any guidance on scores one should score in mock exam? Yeah, get at least an 80% and stop being, you know, not confident and just do it. Okay? Project deadlines, everything falls apart because you're allowing it to fall apart. Okay, sorry to put the blame on you, but I'm putting the blame on you because let me tell you something. Your job isn't going to stop pulling on you. Your family isn't going to stop pulling on you. The world is not going to stop pulling on you. And if you don't pull back and do what and prioritize it and do what's right, it's never going to happen. Okay? You have to wake up tomorrow, make that decision that this is a priority, this is what I'm doing. Emergency things, they'll stick with it. You know, if you have health issues, you got family problems, needs to be t- take care of it. But you gotta make that. Nobody, remember something. Nobody's gonna make time for you. Nobody, no one, and time don't make time for you. Don't remember that. By the way, my application is passed, and I have to pass the exam within the two hundred six. All right, you got time. You got time. Yeah, because you're procrastinating. Isn't that certain? No, do not memorize the idos, the itos. The idos for no, 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 don't do that. Man, understand them. Andrew, start your, CA, you, your CAPM course, you damn plan to get CA. You got this. Come back. Let me know when you pass your exam. All right. Tell, tell me how it went. Hopefully, you ace your CAPM exam. 
Uh, just finished your PMP training today, test Saturday. You got this. Do the simulator, please. Know the mindset. Come back. Let me know next week when you pass. Time commitment was the hardest for me after dealing with the death and the famine. That's tough. Studying helped me focus and take my mind off of it, though. Okay, well, thank God it helped you somehow get through that. Hopefully it wasn't, you know, hopefully it wasn't too pulling off of you. But you know what? Congratulations. Hopefully you did pass your exam. The time studying, guys. That's the hard part. I plan on, uh, I'm also planning PMP. Will the CAPM help me? Of course. Oh, yes. Everything you learn in CAPM will be back in PMP. Uh, no need to memorize. No, don't need, no, no need to memorize. Practice test for the CAPM in a few days. Maybe tomorrow or Thursday, the TIA exam site, TIAexams.com, will have practice exams for the CAPM. Okay? The simulator for it. It's going to be amazing. It has video explanation. For all people planning to give the PMP, Andrew says your family support will be sacrificed as much as you will. Stay humble. Stay grateful for them and bless them. Yes. PMP, listen to me, guys. Listen carefully. PMP is not a single person effort. If you have a family, you have a spouse, you have children, you have a mother, you have a father, you're taking care of, whatever your, your life situation is, your work situation, PMP is not a life, is not a single person situation. You need the support and commitment from them as much as you to give you that time to study. Mommy has got to have a free time to study her exam. Daddy's got to have some free time to study for her exam. Spouse says, you guys got to work together or whatever. You know, your life situation, you got to work together. Friends, family, everybody's got to come by and help you. All right? Get that positive energy around you and study, man. Study. I uh, need one video from you on a common question in interview on how to answer them. Yeah, we got to do that interview video. I totally agree with that. Carrot cake, mint tea. Minty is okay. And a four-day vacation to a neighboring to Togo. Okay. Visit a museum, great restaurant, lovely beach resort. Be a bird with. <laughs> All right. Lucy, you celebrated. Amazing. You know what goes good with carrot cake, not mint tea. I'm thinking of the name of the tea that I always drink, but I forgot. Guys, I'm losing my memory, guys. I forgot the name of the tea. It's a really good tea that sometimes you see me drink on the live stream. See, I drink it all the time. No, I forgot. I had it today and I forgot. Uh, hold on. I got it right here. All right, look. Mint tea is great, but you know what tea is amazing? Earl Grey. I forget that, Earl Grey. See, guys, I need some vitamins to get this memory working. Earl Grey tea. I like Mint tea is okay. Mint tea is good, too. Congratulations, Lucy, on celebrating. Well, welcome to the world of PMP. You got this. Thank you for the birthday wishes also. Keep celebrating. All right, once in a while, we got to do that. The mock exam, make sure you do the TIAexams.com. Stay away from distractions. So con so social media is such garbage. Stay off of Facebook, man, and Twitter and all these garbage things. The only social media you guys should be consuming is mine. Sharing credential is punished by fat, especially PMIs. <laughs> don't do that. How do I prove my, as a marketer, you don't really want to prove. You, you write it on the application. If you're audited, somebody has to sign off. All right, here we go. Some people are telling us where they're from still. What do we got? India. All right, all right. Dedicated quality time to study. Way harder than the test. See? Somebody asking that. You agree. Mexico. All right. We got Oklahoma. I'm new in this world. What book or links are good to study? Wouldn't have my... Uh, no, Carlos. You're on my channel, Carlos. <laughs> what do you think I'm going to tell you? Carlos, get this book right here. Carlos, this book you can find on Amazon.com. The world's bestseller. PMP Study Guide. Get that. It comes with a free learning course in it. Get that. Get the simulator. It's all you need. You ready to ace your exam? All right. Just like, look how many people on here, Carlos. If you're just joining us, revert back. Texas, Peru, United States, Ghana, Bharat, Trinidad, India, United States. Yeah, a lot of folks all around the world here, guys. Costa Rica, Panama, Europe is asleep. Yeah, what happened to these Europeans? Yeah, where are these Europeans? I haven't. We have no Europeans here. 
Where are those guys? They're doing prints too. Ram? I like that answer, yes. Europeans severely value prints too. The United States, we really don't know what the hell is prints too. I've never studied. I don't even know. I've never read a book on prints too. It means something about projects in control environment. That's what I... There's something about the CE. Something about control environment. Andrew and Offbeat Q, can you do a video on approach to doing AI related? I should do a video on uh, AI related project management, but there is a course PMI is offering on the free course on PMI has a free course on uh, AI project uh, using AI and project management. I use a lot of AI and project management. I do like practically. Which one do you suggest? Google PMP certification or regular certificate through an institute? My own. Go to Udemy. Come to Technical Institute of America. Get a class with us. No, none of those, man. No PMP course is going to be better than my class. In my opinion, because it's my class. What do you think I'm going to say? Come on now. Hey, Andrew, how long does it take to get slot to an online exam? Generally, within a few days or a few hours. Taking it in person could take weeks. Does the PMP still matter without any technical know-how on a specific technology slack? <sighs> Maybe. It depends on the company you're working for. But generally, you need that technology. I like... I know I like to have some humor and some fun comments. But I think you're great and provide great community and service. Thank you. Thank you, Sterling. That matters. Thank you. You are the best. I hope so. Maybe. <laughs> What's the function of math? Uh, I'm an electrical contractor, PM. And yes, I would hire you to run these jobs. I need. You don't want to hire me to do construction, man. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm messing with you. If you want me to screw up building your house, hire me. I don't know anything about I would never do a construction job. Frank said no. You see, Frank, you're right. Now, if you guys want me to manage a technology project, I got you. <laughs> this is good. Definitely for painting. Yes, I am a master at painting rooms. That I could do. That's the only thing I could do. I did talk a lot about that. Do the PDU courses you mentioned expire? Uh, no. Once on Udemy, you got them forever. I got your book. I'm watching your videos. I plan to sit for the exam by the end of the month. You got this. Don't give it up, man. Don't give it up. That's advice by Andrew. Take two breaks. Please take the breaks. Move around. Got Get the blood flowing. Had two Red Bulls. I don't recommend that. <laughs> that that's like caffeine galore. The second Red Bull, the second was Red Bull. So you're like wired up, man. Uh, the test is long. It tests your stamina and endurance. It does. I do, yeah, when you take your breaks, maybe take a little sip of some caffeine. Maybe one Red Bull, but maybe not two. Or maybe your, your tolerance for caffeine, but I take a Red Bull. I'm pretty wired, man. Yes, take your breaks. Do not do that. Doing this simulator, wish me like you got this. All right, all right. Straight. Okay, so we do have somebody from there. Good, good. Hey, Andrew, I've started studying PMP before my marriage, but during the marriage process, I forgot to study them. Now I'm going to start. <laughs> Are there any changes? Uh, Raju, uh, depends when, but no. If you've been studying it for the last, like, one or two years, you're okay. Duncan T. Duncan T. That's regular T, man. You mean like Dunkin' Donuts tea? This is regular tea. I'm so glad I made this. You got this. Thank you for dropping by. Hey, Andrew, do you recommend studying Agile PMI books? No. Just use my books, my videos, my course. You don't need it. I read them for you. Earl Grade is definitely the top of the list. Lucy, me and you, we connect on this. Earl Grade is the best tea out there. Interestingly, a lot of people don't like it, right? Like my wife doesn't really like it. She doesn't like the taste. It's a very... It's like a unique taste to it that not everybody likes. Me and my daughter, we like it. She does not like it. But definitely, I love Earl Grey. As you can see, one was on my desk. I actually drink them almost every day. I have to, uh, How do I get the 24 PDU giveaway? Miguel, I don't know if they're still valid, but they're in the chat somewhere. At the end of the stream, I'll put them back, but I don't know if they're still valid. Taking the Scrum exam certification helped me in the Agile. Yes. If you do your your uh, Scrum Master, 
Uh, it's fine. Bec you learn a lot that you reapply here. I don't know if it's only me. After studying, I tend to forget things. Yeah. I forgot what tea I drank a couple hours ago. Come on now. You think... Um, so stick to the mindset. If you forget, repeat, repeat. Okay? It's not a rush. If you feel that you're not ready, maybe you want to reschedule it. It's not a rush. Don't rush to get certified. I prefer you learn, you know well, pass your exam, then you rush in and you fail. Okay? Don't rush it. Sometimes you have to repeat. Not everybody memorizes as smart as people think I am. I forget a lot of stuff. All right? And I take a lot of exams. Maybe my hard drive is too full. What do you recommend? Submitting the application to PMI? I'm doing it before completing the studies. Do it the moment you finish your 35-hour class the next day. The, ne the same day. Not the next day. The same day. Submit your application. All right. Columbus, Ohio. A lot of folks from the United States joining me. All right. Hey, Andrew. Passed the PMP. Three above target last month. Congratulations. Recommended you to all my colleagues. Thank you. By the way, that's the best thing you guys can do. Recommend my services. Thanks. They just signed up last week. Thank you. That's the best thing, man. Thank you so much. That means a lot. The recommendations. You know, what's the best sales? Word of mouth, guys. All right. I'm still using a TI trainer. Yes, they're still good. Oh, can you? No. Oh, food and drink to the center. Yes, when you go on break, you can use it. Bali, Indonesia. All right. See, we guys, we got people from all over. <laughs> it is. It is Canada. Kind of That's right. Uh, I completed my PMP last March, but have uh, really had the opportunity to apply PMBOK knowledge in a practical. My question is, how can I ensure I remember PMP knowledge? By repeating it, Rohit. The only which way to do that is by repeating the knowledge, is by working. Don't, you know, don't forget it by not using it. Use it. See, listen, here's the thing with PMBOK. The knowledge is very generic. You could apply that to whatever project you're working on right now. And if you can't, tell your managers. Try to push them to have a risk register. Try to push them to have a lesson learned register. <clears throat> or an issue log or some kind of management plan or some kind of baseline or write a scope this way. You try to initiate that. Go out there and become better. Okay? And uh, if that if they're really refusing to come back, watch the course again. That's the only way. All right? Hey, Andrew, what do you recommend if people who take your course and want to create study groups want to keep in touch? Uh, who take your course and want to create a study group? That, you have to create a study group. I do like study groups. Uh, I think study groups are amazing. Uh, I like studying with study groups, too. I try to find people studying. One, me, I have a, me and another person, we study a lot of certifications together. Not this kind, but more tech stuff. And uh, it's good to study together. You guys should do that. Call up friends, uh, colleagues, coworkers, or if you were in a class, that, that helps a lot. I, when you take a live class with me, I, at the end of the course, I create a study group and I add everybody to it, a giant email link. And they schedule, in that email change, they schedule their own like Zoom meetings and they review questions and all that stuff. You guys should be doing that. I definitely recommend that. The greatest Slack channel to communicate and share resources what we're using, especially TI resources. Uh, can I share it here? A Slack? Uh, no, especially if you're using TI resources, keep that to the TI students. Keep it within your, your knowledge. Uh, any tips for memorizing the process? You don't need to memorize. Understand it. I have my membership only till mid of December. My exam is in November. I'm trying to do best to keep. You got this. All right. Uh, say so this happened. Yes. Uh, I do check the video where I go wrong. Yes, please review it. You got time. <sighs> wow. This is a long night tonight, guys. Um, very, very long night tonight. Uh, let's do some practice questions. Let us do some practice questions right away. 
And then I'll give you guys back those links if you have not gotten those links. Okay, I have one here with some PERT formulas because everybody said they have a PERT on it. Okay, guys, let us, oops, oops, hold on, hold on, I screwed that up royally. All right, here we go, here we go. Where are we? Where are we? Here we go. Okay. We're at the vanilla cake. See, I was looking up that vanilla cake thing. All right, let's do some practice questions, guys. Really quick. My legs hurt. I've been standing up for a long time. I'm pretty out of shape. That's a problem. All right, here we go, guys. Practice questions. You guys know what to do. Put the answers in the box. Put the answers in the box. Here we go. Team members very frustrated. But a constant change of requirements of a few key stakeholders. The team would like to know fewer requirements to change. The team would like fewer requirements to change on a project. What should the PM do first? Inform the stakeholders to stop asking. Revise the change management process. Meet with the team to understand what changes are causing frustration. Stop accepting all changes. Put the answer in the box. Put the answers in the box. We got some more questions. Uh, let's see. Again, he says for volunteer PDUs that are fun. No. <laughs> I haven't thought about that. No, it's the first time I've ever thought about it. I find that using a PMP technique in ship repair is very difficult. Ship repair. Any other certification recommend? Thomas, I wouldn't know anything in ship repair. <laughs> Not for ship repair. I'm, I do IT, guys. If you guys want to know, my background is all IT. Cybersecurity, if you know, I teach things like A+, Net+, Security+, CISSP. I used to teach them Amazon stuff, Cisco stuff, six Cisco certifications I got. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Sherlock, homie. All right. We need those subs. Uh, thanks, Andrew. I cleared my PMP last month with your course. Congratulations with that. Uh, this was the one thing I thought I could not do, but your course helped me a lot. Not a problem. You know what? I am super happy I was able to help you pass your exam. Now, did you celebrate well? Did you get a couple of couple of beers? Did you get a did you get a piece of cake? Absolutely. Congratulations on that. Oh, the answer to the questions. All right, the answer to the questions. All right, here we go. So mindset. Remember, these questions are all about the mindset, guys. First of all, never. Here's a quick tip. Anytime you find in the question somebody says stop, that's a key word for don't select me. <laughs> Anytime you see in the question it says stop, means don't select me. It means stop from selecting this choice. It's a good tip for you guys. Don't. You can't revise a change management plan like that generally without a change request. Uh, stop. You don't notice. Stop once again. That means don't don't select that answer. You don't stop anything. All right. The only time a project may come to a stop is if it's something like illegal or somebody may die. So like safety or regulations, then you may want to stop something, but not like that. Yeah. Before taking actions, the first thing you do is understand what the problem is. First thing you do, analyze the issue, then take action. P practice question number two on a hybrid project. The team has completed a sprint. And the customers are not happy with the errors and the deliverables. What should the project manager work with the team to prevent these errors from happening again? Where should the project manager work? Sprint planning, sprint review, retrospective, change control process. Put the answer in the box. Put the answer in the box. Do you have any uh, PDUs about managing people? No, not yet, Ivan. Not yet. Not yet. I, I should make one, though. A lot of people need to know that. Study group will be studying. Do you recommend getting uh, put the answer in the box? Six Sigma after PMP. Six Sigma is a unique thing. So I took Six Sigma, okay? I did the green belt. 
did the course in black belt, never finished it. And uh, if your job is about process improvement, if your job involves a lot of anal analyzing and improving processes, that's Six Sigma, right? So then I would recommend it. Like, if that's what you like doing, then do that. It's a lot, sometimes it's too much math for me. Uh, sometimes I don't see the point of it. But, you know, I see, because I work in a small business, but in a big business, I kind of understand it. But, yeah, it's to get PDUs, sure. Why not do it? That's why I did I did it for PDUs many years ago. The answer here, guys, is, of course, you guys got it. The retrospective. The retrospective is when you look back on what happened during the sprint, what went right, what went wrong, what caused errors in the product, what could we have done better, what are we going to do more, what are we going to do less of. Sprint planning meeting. This determines what gets done in the next sprint. Sprint review meeting is when the customer reviews the product. Change control is just managing changes. Practice question number three. A key stakeholder is not happy with the progress of the project. The SPI is 1.2. CPI is 0.76. The project schedule and meeting with the team. What should the PM be discussing? Methods to fix the schedule, scope, budget, or schedule and budget. Put the answer in the box. Put the answer in the box, guys. What is a what is coupon for Udemy? I don't have one. Uh, I have coupons for free classes that I just gave away earlier tonight. I'm gonna give them away again. I don't know if they're still valid. Survival guide to life. Uh, Udemy controls the price of those courses. That's why one day it's like one price, the next day it's like another price. All right, guys, put the answers one more time, guys. Put it in the box. Put the answers in the box. All right, what do we got? All right, guys, the answer here, guys, is pretty easy. So you guys should know this. So if the CPI is 0.76, it means you're 24% under the budget. At one, you're on budget. Over, anything over one, you're over you're on the budget. So you're over budget here. This budget needs to be fixed. Schedule is good. 1.2 means 20% of the schedule. You can't tell the scope, and it's definitely not both. It's one of them. Question. During a sprint, a key stakeholder is informed of PM. A team member will be joining the project to help complete the project sooner. What should the PM do in this situation? Uh, inform the stakeholder a new member can join after the sprint is complete. Allow the team member to join to speed up. Ask current member if the new member is allowed to join. Review the team member's qualifications. Put the answer in the box. Put the answers in the box. What is the normal price of this exam simulator? It never changes. I think they haven't changed it in a while. It's $44.99. Can I get a coupon for PDUs? Uh, there, I... I I put a post on LinkedIn. Follow me on LinkedIn. I put a post on LinkedIn yesterday about uh, how you can get 60 PDUs, like really cheap. I got the biggest discount they, that Udemy is willing to give for you guys. And I put a big post in yesterday on LinkedIn to show you five classes, get you 60 PDUs. Huh? Alright guys, put the answers in the box. Okay, now we know survival guide to life. That user is a bot. Because <laughs> obviously I'm telling it now, isn't it? Okay, ignore that one guys. That is probably a bot. The bot's coming after me. Put the answers in the box because what you guys got. All right. Yes, it is. So you have to understand uh, the rules of Agile. When did 
project is executed, you should not be changing members on the team. So definitely don't ask the team, you know, the mindset, don't ask the team to speed up. Don't have the, never ask the team to work overtime. Um, ask, if to, ask a team if they're allowed to join. No, not yet. Let them work. And after that, you can do that. Revise, review the new team members qualifications. That would be something you would be doing, but they would have to wait until the, sp the next sprint starts before you even, you should even consider that. A significant five has been, has arisen during a sprint that could cause a delay in the work. A few stakeholders are requesting this to be addressed immediately. What should you do? Meet with the stakeholder, ask for solutions. Research and select a solution. Meet with the team and have them resolve and is, uh, resolve the issue and plan to fix. Alert the stakeholders this issue would be take a few weeks to fix. Put the answers in the box. Put the answers in the box. How to get the giveaway PDUs? You got to complete the courses on your demo. I'll give you back the links later. I don't know if they're still valid once again. Hey, Andrew, uh, would it be a best certification to do a PMP for an IT project manager? Yes. PMP is highly respected in our industry of IT. What if a team member leaves and needs to be replaced? Uh, that's a whole different story. Then you, you know, you might, you should probably let it finish with whatever they're doing. It might slow it down a little bit. That's why you should not have people leaving. All right, the answer here, guys. Put the answers in the box. Put the answers in the box. Survival Guide to Life, you are a bot, so you're done. Guys, if you come on my channel and you start doing, asking things over and over, you're gone. All right, that user is gone. All right, put the answers in the box, guys. What do you guys got? Is C, meet with the team and have them resolve the issue and fix it. That is correct. The team knows what is best. Don't ask for solutions. You have to work with the team. The team knows best. Don't select something. This is for sin. All right? So don't do that. Alert the stakeholders. It took a few weeks. Don't kick the can down the road. Work with the team. The best answer. The team solve it. This is part of your mindset. Number six. A vendor has alerted PM. A few of the supplies will be delivered late. This is the third time of late delivery. What should the PM do first in this situation? Review the procurement management plan. Inform the vendor you'll be using a few for future supplies. Call the vendor and find out what the issue is. Call the shipping company to understand why it's being delayed. <laughs> Ivan, yes. Kick that bot out. <laughs> the bot's gone. Put the answers in the box. Put the answers in the box. All right, very good, guys. Very good. The answer here, guys, is going to be... Yeah, you guys know this one. I was everybody got this one right. What should you do first? Although it seems like you should take some kind of action, third time being late, remember, the management plan tells you the action to take. So the first thing you do is review. Inform the venue you're using a new, uh, a new for supply, future supplies. This one here is taking an action. Call the vendor to find out. This, you would do A, then C. Okay? D, no. 
this call should be coming to understand why it's being delayed. The best thing to do is to read the procurement management plan. Do your research, then take actions. Practice question number seven, organization move traditional. What are some new meetings will they be doing? Put the answer in the box. Sticking to the plan, Ashwin, I'm not sure what you're asking me. All right, guys, tonight's the officially the longest stream of my life, two hours. Been at this for two hours. But guys, if you guys appreciate what I do for you guys standing here for two hours, can you click on the like button? That would be amazing. Subscribe to the channel, please. Subscribe to the channel. Hey. No PMP provider gives away a lot of free stuff like I do. A really cheap stuff. Okay? Really cost effective stuff. Give you guys a good price. Some of these PMP providers are crazy. Charge thousands of dollars for I don't know what. You're crazy. Put the answers in the box, guys. Put the answers in the box. That's right. Retrospectives, what we do after the sprint. Sprint planning, what we do during the sprint. And the sprint review is when the customers review what was made during the sprint. All right, good job. All right, last question of the night, guys. Answer this question quickly. Three estimates, three groups, 29, 46, and 18 days. What is the estimate? Estimate duration. So this here, you're going to have to know your PERT, all right? You have to know your program evaluation review technique. Put the answers in the box. Thank you, Salani. I meant the question included for the third. Ashwin, I don't know what you're asking me there. I meant the question include. Oh, yes. It's making you do that to throw you off. Okay. Still, it doesn't matter how many times. Always follow the plan. That's the idea. So it's called a plan-based approach. It's always making you follow the plan. That's right. Put the answer in the box. I actually don't know the answer to this, so I need myself to do a calculator. So let's do a calculator quickly. Put the answer in the box, guys. Put the answers in the box. Put the answers in the box. All right, let's see what you guys got. All right, let's see if we can... Oh, you know what? I have the answer. I don't need a calculator. The answer here is going to be B. Yep, so you take the middle number is the most likely, so it's 4 times 29. Add the 18, the optimistic. Add the pessimistic, the 46. Add them all up. Divide by 6, and boom, you got 30 is the answer. 30. If you don't know this formula, please know this formula. It is on your exam. If you take the exam right now, the PERT formula is on your test. Some people have one or two questions on it. Please know this formula for your exam. And that brings me to an end. Finally, guys, once again, if you're taking the current PMP exam, you got to know your EVM formulas. You got to know your PERT formulas. You got to know burn up. You got to know burn down charts. There's a ton of questions on these things. Make sure you know it to pass your exam. Guys, guys, thank you so much for coming out tonight. I want to give you guys back those uh, codes. I don't know if these are valid, all right? Uh, they may or they may not be valid. Here are the codes again if you missed them earlier. All right, use them. They may Once again, they may or may not be valid. Uh, use them as soon as possible. So thank you guys for coming out, guys. You guys have a great night. Have a great day. Have a great day, evening, night, week, weekend, month, year, decade, century, and forever. I will see you guys next week, guys. I'm out, guys. You guys, be good. Study hard. None of this BS that you're busy. 
study. Put the time in. Look at the rewards. You're going to get to it. You got this study hard, guys. I'll see you guys in a week. Have a good night. Or morning. Whatever it is for you. Or day. Afternoon. Who knows? Take it easy, guys.